Red light rage no more, hopefully anyway. At one intersection in Cincinnati, a new type of traffic sensor is up and running. Right, and as WLWT News host Jennifer Shack shows us tonight, whether you're in a car or even riding a bike, it's something that you might like. This intersection may look like every other one in Cincinnati, but it actually has the latest in traffic sensor technology. This intersection has hot new technology that can pick up the heat from your car or even from a bike and trigger the light to change. Gone is the typical underground traffic detector. Now a thermal camera sensor is working at the intersection of Central Parkway and Ludlow Avenue in Clifton. We collect, as we receive requests from people saying that they're having a hard time triggering a signal, we keep track of all of those. And this was one of the ones that people on bicycles were having trouble at, getting that green light. That's right, bikes. We didn't see a lot of bike traffic except for the city's spokeswoman, but we're told this intersection has the highest volume of bicycle traffic in the city. Cars likely won't notice a difference, but when bicyclists come up at Central Parkway, the sensor will recognize the bike and trigger a green light. It's also able to be programmed so that when it does detect a bicycle, it can give a couple extra seconds to that green light which just gives that person on a bike a few extra seconds to make it through the intersection and makes that intersection safer for everyone there. Traffic signal detectors are often damaged from local construction work. That problem will be eliminated. As for the cost, the sensor was donated by a local company free of charge, and the city is testing it out. Bicycling Magazine recently ranked Cincinnati 35 of the most bicycle-friendly cities in America. In Cincinnati, Jennifer Shack, WLWT News 5. Now, biking is getting more attention all over Cincinnati, too. A protected bike lane was completed along Central Parkway this summer, and the city hopes to extend it to Ludlow Avenue in the coming years.